morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, no nudity on stream. No nudity on stream. Don't pull an alinity. That's going to be the opening on the YouTube. All right, boys. I'll show you what we got today. We had a beautiful pull request merge this morning on Tiny Grad. Made me very happy. So, uh, you know, that's why we're, why we're streaming uh, this morning. This from Marcel uh, Bischoff turning these crappy triple loop into this. Doesn't this line make a lot of sense? NP.einsum. I don't really understand how einsums work, but good thing Marcel Bischoff does. Uh, so I merged in this pull request, and then I made a few uh, cleanups. If I do that, will it show it side to side? How do I get it to go split? Oh, I didn't know there was a button. I guess it picks that sometimes and picks the other one sometimes. Split is so much easier to read. Unified is so hard to read. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Do we have, did anyone actually, no one's here? Oh, bread, ham, and egg. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, so, we're working on tiny grad today. Now, I've written tiny efficient net. Um, so let's just go over the code quickly of what tiny efficient net is. And thanks to Marcel Bischoff, it now runs in under a second, so we can actually debug this. Now, right now, so we'll start with where we are on the stream right now. Here, let me uh, look at the picture of the cat. Um, sorry, it's weird colors, but you know. So you see this picture of a cat? This is the picture that we're putting into the efficient net. It's pretty unmistakably a cat. Uh, but there has to be bugs in the efficient net because, of course, it's saying that it is a coho. And I didn't know what a coho was until I Googled it, but it's a salmon. So it thinks that this is that. And uh, wow, look how visual my channel is today. Wow, this is the kind of content that's going to bring in new viewers, you know? Because I'm putting a picture of cat because we're going to recognize cat. But it actually thinks cat is coho, but it knows that it's not doe, so that's good. You just got an email that I'm live. You can come watch my stream. Uh, yo, yo, yo. No, I have a story that's not appropriate for stream. I'll tell it later. Um, what? Oh, you're watching my stream. You can comment. We got some people from Poland. Yeah, the left cat looks weird because it's not a cat. It's a fish. A coho is a fish. It's a type of salmon. Uh, honestly, I'm like curious. Does someone make like a visual image net explorer? Oh, yeah, look. Wow. Wow. What it, wow, this is, this is a lot of... Um, yeah, look, there's men in caps holding cohos. All right, well, either way, there's got to be a bug in the efficient net because it thinks that the fish is a cat. Oh, look at these. Look at these cohos. Wow, look at that happy coho. It looks happy. It's getting away. Catch it. Eat it. Fry it. Okay. So we'll comment out the thing where we look at the cat because we don't need to look at the cat. We know the cat is in there. It reads the cat from this website here. So we can take a look, yeah. That's what the cat looks like in color and uncropped. Not a hot dog. When is the Accord Gidra stream? I'm not doing that shit anymore. We write, uh, we write uh, Tiny Grad. Um, no, I don't think it is a catfish, okay? There is, there is bug. Yes, nice logo. The logo was contributed by, let's figure out who contributed the logo. TSM, TSM Callister contributed the beautiful, the beautiful Tiny Grad logo. Tiny Grad's on PyPy. Pi. We've made so much progress on Tiny Grad. Um, now, so for those that don't know what an efficient net is, we'll start with what an efficient net is. 
efficient net. Rethinking model scaling for convolutional neural networks. There's one chart that really explains what an efficient net is, and it's right here. So these are all the other old shitty networks. This is the number of parameters. And this is the top one accuracy. So you can see the red line is well to the upper left. Upper left is the direction we want to go because parameters are bad and accuracy is good. All right. Capiche? Does everyone get it? Good. Um, how much would you pay? I was thinking about doing like a high-end like programming tutoring service. I would like 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 five hundred dollars an hour. I'll tutor some rich kid on how to program. The problem with that is I realized I'd get fanboys, and fanboys would be interested in asking me fucking personal questions. So that wouldn't be appropriate, and that's why we decided not to do it. You want to build a CPU out of relays? Well, I don't know what a relay is. If you want to use a relay, well, you should use a transistor because it's, it's the current year. It's the current year. Um, I'd be happy with $500 an hour, and I want to like tutor some like spoiled rich kid on programming. No, 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 I don't want a course. And the problem is, oh my God, we'd get fanboys. And fanboys are the absolute worst. You know, fanboys are like, ugh. Oh, the most, like, like, do you buy like action figures and shit too? Are you a grown man who buys action figures? Ugh, Reddit or trash, you know? Can I make the text bigger? Is that big enough for you? Well, if it's not, too bad. I went to the eye doctor, and it turns out I have an astigmatism. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that happened. All right, so we implemented Tiny Efficient Net. Um, and Tiny Efficient Net is pretty short code. Uh, so this is, it uses these MBCOM blocks, which I think are like mobile bottlenecks. And that's the forward pass for it, and then efficient net. So let's just compare it to the PyTorch one, and let's just see if we made any uh, mistakes. So here's that same thing written in PyTorch. We're loading the weights in from PyTorch as well. Here's the code that does it. Um, so we're just checking inference, and maybe if we have time, we'll check the backward pass too. But our goal on this stream, for anyone who's like, what's he doing today? Is to get, instead of it saying coho here, for it to say cat. Right? So these are the image net. These are all the things it could possibly recognize. Oh, that copy paste not going to work. And if I do that, and then I do that, and then I remember to add the T I forgot to copy. Now it'll work. Okay. Yeah, so these are all the things that could possibly recognize it at. We have Egyptian cats, we have Persian cats, we have tiger cats, we have Siamese cats. I don't know what a pole cat is. We have Madagascar cats and catamarans. So those are all the things we could possibly recognize it as. These are just the image net categories. So that would be nice if that worked at all. Um, but for some reason, it's a coho. And what's even sadder is I think it's even a coho if I multiply the image by zero, which is, of course, putting nothing in. Yeah, it's still a coho, so, you know, the image is actually not making any difference at all. Almost to the point that I'm scared we're not actually putting in the image. What if I multiply the image by a thousand? Does it do something now? Oh, it's a bald eagle. Wow. What if I just multiply it by 256? It's a coho. But if you multiply it by 1,000, it's a bald eagle, and it's really sure of it. This is the most patriotic neural network. And we'll also put in what it's not. It's not a French loaf. Wow, I wouldn't want to be a French loaf either. All right, well, we can come in out the knot for now because, you know, should I watch the new Borat? Is it actually any good? Okay. Um, also, we're going to listen to some copyright-free music. All right. Um, because we're not allowed to listen to copyrighted music, so we're going to listen to copyright-free music so we don't get muted. Royalty-free music. Let's listen to this. All right. Some copyright free music. Oh, I, I listened to the uh, Alex Jones on uh, on Joe Rogan. I liked, I liked, you know, Alex Jones, <laughs> the guy could use a fact checker.
Like, unlike most media, I don't actually think Alex Jones is trying to lie to you. A lot of media, I think it's, they're just evil and they're trying to lie to you. I think Alex Jones just gets caught in his head and talks too fast. Joe Rogan was kind of saying this, but, you know. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Alex Jones has a point, but it's deterred by many substances. You know, you guys always think I'm on drugs. I don't even think he's on drugs. I think that's just who he is. And like... What? Dude, I don't care about your torque mod on the Accord. I don't care. This is my care. Um, it's not my fridge. Well, copyright free music's kind of mediocre. All right. I mean, I can run it six more times, but it's still going to say Coho. So we're going to have to really start diving in and figuring out, you know, where the bug's at. And then we're going to make a take. Ooh, you know what? We can do this now. Let's say if... All right, let's say URL equals this. Uh, if sys.arg v length sys.arg v greater than one else url equals sys.arg v sub one. All right, we're ready to recognize things that aren't cats. Um, but we're not ready yet because it still thinks the cats call. So yeah, also by the way, check out TinyGrad if you haven't. It's actually very readable code. Um, it's the tiniest neural network library. Here are all the ops right here. Uh, I mean, it supports everything required for an efficient net. Well, maybe. I mean, there might be some bugs. There clearly are some bugs. So uh, yeah, let's, um, okay. So X squeezed. Oh, yeah, I learned what adaptive average pool meant, and it actually just means um, basically the whole thing is the size is adaptive. So it should match that, okay. We're doing SE reduce. We're doing swish. We're doing SE expand. And then we're multiplying the sigmoid. And then we're doing the pointwise convolution. We don't. Oh. Oh, did we not do the skip connection? What's ID skip? Block args ID skip. Oh, interesting. I don't think we did that. Oh, well, that would make sense why this didn't work. Um... Okay, well, ah, well, if we forgot this, this would actually explain a lot. Let's call this inputs. Um, okay, let's just do it if the shapes are equal. Uh, x equals x dot add inputs. Mm, cat, 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 mouse trap. Oh well, we made progress, I think. I don't know if we're actually supposed to add all these. Okay, let's take a look at what's here. What's ID skip and when does it get set? Oh, damn. Okay. Um, I actually checked out that efficient net, so we can take a look at it. Probably in fun. There we go. Um, my Python's broken, so you have to type ipython3 whenever you want to use it. Oh, 
are you tells? Oh, attempted relative import with no parent package. This is terrible. I somehow got this to work before. Like, I don't get it, because these block args... Oh, we can try to read it. Block args, IV skip. And I copy and pasted this from here. It's so complicated, though. Block decoder dot decode. Oh, see, this code's so confusing. Okay. If not, no skip in block string. Hmm. So we definitely don't have any no skips. I think that's actually probably right then. Checking if self dot o oh, dot stride input filters equals output filters. Okay, that should be the same. So I think I actually did that right. Um, input filters, output filters, strides. Just print it. Because if we strides, then the sizes won't be the same. So we really can just check the shapes, I believe. Okay, well good, we added that in. See, you get one little thing wrong. Everything's a ResNet-like architecture today. Um, let's see what else we did wrong. Okay, let's make sure these things match. Uh, expansion and depthwise convolution, so we do the expand conv. Uh, I assume expand conv doesn't have a bias. I mean, yeah, if it had a bias, we would. And they don't put. You don't want to put biases in your comms if they're right before batch norms. Um, because the batch norm already contains the bias, and you're just stupidly wasting model parameters. You don't want to do that. Um, that plus comes, we do groups, that's good. We do pad, I mean the pads all have to be right, otherwise it just wouldn't compile. Uh, we're running BN1, we're running swish, we're running this junk. We do the pointwise convolution, and then we don't need to worry about drop connect because that doesn't actually run, though. I'm interested in, oh, I guess drop connect will just zero it out. Okay, cool. Drop connect is kind of like you just get rid of that whole like res block. It's a, it's a cute dropout like trick. All right, let's read forward and see if we made mistakes there. God, I don't even know what any of that is, okay. Self.extract features, okay, well, we're not running that. Um. Oh, maybe maybe that's just the actual net. Okay, we do an average pooling. Uh, we do a flatten, which is this reshape here. Dropout does nothing, and then we do the FC. Oh, why am I doing a swish there? Don't do a swish on the output. Why do I think doing a swish on the output was a good idea anyway? No swish. Let's see. Still mousetrap. Hmm. It's not dough. Good. Let's see if we zero out the image, if we get something different this time. Okay, okay, we're making progress. A zeroed out image is a suit. That's right. If you're empty and hollow inside, you're a suit. Uh, well, who's that guy? Uh, Billy from uh, Entourage. A suit. All right. Um, there's some chance that I, like, mess up indexing these things, too. So, like, we can't always rely on just 
Uh, if like next to mousetrap was cat. Mm, yeah, because they start with one. They don't start with zero. Oh yeah, I think this is off by one. Yeah, I think it's off by one. I'm actually not even sure if this is the order. There's some chance that just the order is wrong. Uh, let's take a look at a plot. Who likes plots? You like plots? I like when things have plots too. Mm, PLT is not defined. I'll just put that there. Is that slow? Why does that seem like something that would be slow? Importing matplotlib. Yeah, let's just move it down here. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at the outputs. Mm. <laughs> well, that's junk. It's probably because it's a bad shape. Yeah, it's a dumb shape. All right, let's do out.data sub zero. Let's see. Yeah, it's, pr it's probably unlikely to be an indexing issue. I mean, so this is like, these are like the log odds of each, uh, of each thing. Now there are a whole bunch of cats in there, so I'm not sure. Let's look at the log odds of a zeroed out image. Those actually look very similar. Except it's a suit, a mousetrap. Well, at least some of the image is making it through the net. Whoops. All right, let's go back to reading. Look, we found two bugs already. I was doing a swish. Wait, oh, no, that swish is good. Forward, just that other swish was bad. Dot FC, add FC bias, perfect. Let's print FC bias. All right, relatively small numbers. That's good. It's like the base rate of the category, you know? Um, okay, so we do an average pooling. We do the reshape first? No, we do an average pool there and then we do the reshape. That's, you know what? I know it costs us a line, but let's do that. Good. Twelve eighty is the output. We do reshape. Let's read extract features and see if we're running it right. Okay. Um, we have the stem. BM com stem. Just try two. I guess that's right. Uh, drop connect. Run the block. Uh, let's just say block. You know the block is hot. I'd love to play the block is hot, but boys, it's copyrighted, so, you know, uh, we can't play the block is hot. Um, all right, extract features, doing swish BN1, conv 2D on the conv head. Okay, that seems right. Extract endpoints. When is this used? What does this even do? Oh, I say, useless. Let's commit this, since we know it's bug fixes. Fix 
fix enet bugs now is mousetrap. So I don't actually know if that categories thing is right. Maybe there's an example in here where they actually fetch the categories. Um, like by name. This is useless. Examples maybe? ImageNet? Preliminary data? I get it to actually print the name of the category. Whoa, that's a crazy amount of stuff. Okay, this looks the same. Zoom from a checkpoint, distributed. Oh, look at that. Those look nice. What's an average meter? I should read more PyTorch code. But how do I get the name of the category? You guys saying this in chat? Uh, yeah, I know git commit am will do the ad for me, but then I don't have as much control. Uh, I used to do that, but then you accidentally end up committing dumb crap, and that's why I don't do that. Yeah, we're using a pre-trained net, and we're trying to run it in tiny grad. Deep research. That's what we're doing. You're a subscriber, so you get your questions answered. By the way, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, make sure to subscribe. It is only because I'm a whore for money that I stream on Twitch. Somebody has to pay to keep up my math habit. And, you know, without your money, I would stop doing math, and that would be a bad thing for the world. So. <laughs> um. Oh, here's a clip. George Hotz does meth. We'll put it in the New York Post. Oh, where's that? Uh, where's that? Uh, uh, George Hotz AI expert news. Let's see if we can find it. No, 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 no. There was a news about me. Where'd the news go? Said something like aliens too busy having sex. Ah, there we go. The Daily Star. Yes. Yes. Aliens, they could, yeah, aliens are too busy pleasuring themselves to visit Earth, an AI expert believes. Someone asked me if I liked being called an AI expert, and what I said is I want to be called something like, you know, a little scary and definitely with no prestige. Like, hacker is much better. An AI expert seems like the kind of person who's like, well, I'm going to go to a conference, and I'm going to lecture people about my expert opinions. I'm a thought leader. Uh, and that's what they are like. So, you know, I never want to be grouped in with those people. That's right, even though I am writing the hottest growing neural network library called TinyGrad. Um, you can use TinyGrad. TinyGrad is great. And you know what's great about TinyGrad? It is totally and completely useless. There's no reason you should actually use TinyGrad for anything, but we still write it. I'm getting such good quality pull requests for TinyGrad. Oh, it's an art project, boys, you know? Ah, all right. Um, quality articles, as usual. Am I at home or the office? I'm in the cloud. All right, well, it's pretty confident it's a mousetrap, and I don't think that's right. Uh, don't make me, don't make me actually start to have to, like, compare it layer by layer to PyTorch. I have better things to do today. You know... I do believe I have better things to do today. We're filling in everything, so that can't be wrong. I tested my batch norm, so that can't be wrong. What else could be wrong? Where are the bugs? Uh, 
didn't. Of course. So I have bad posture and it's because I have an astigmatism and I'm going to get glasses. Then you guys can see me with glasses. Okay. So clearly we did something else wrong because we're doing a swish at the end here and there is no swish here. Is there not a swish here? Did I do the same thing? Do I just love putting swishes everywhere? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a swish there. So I have a swish there and let's get rid of it. Uh, everything, every bug I fix in the block is way more likely to fix things. Oh, let's go, let's go. Cat, cat, cat. Pick up. Ooh, but it's very confident about pick up. So I'm interested if now we're in off by one land. Because yeah, we have to be, we have to be off by one. Let's see if pick up is next to cat. Oh yeah, oh, if it says cat right now, if that was the only bug, I'm gonna be so happy because then we don't have to do shitty things like, oh, well. The, the, the confidence is very different, though. Barbell, eh? Well, that's good how different that is. So it could now just be, let's look at the outputs and let's see if it's very confident about cat. Oh, it's very confident about that one. Okay, all right. I think we've got it. I think we just need to figure out how the categories are, are, are mixed up. I'm hoping. Notice how it's yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's um let's make it work on some other images too. Let's find some other images like a car. California Association of Realtors, eh? This is a copyrighted image. Do we need to blur that image out on stream? What? Oh my god, stupid Google. Oh, god, what? Okay, well that one I'm getting other things for. Oh, that's a bow tie, great. Let's take a look at the car and see how much we're messing it up. Oh no, that's pretty good actually. Let me write this to not be stupid with this uh, 87 thing. Print image dot size. Let's just write my image resizer to be better, one sec. Uh, okay, so we'll say aspect ratio equals image dot size sub zero divided by image dot size sub one. We'll say this is int 224 times aspect ratio. Do it right, boys. Do it right. Don't write bugs. Okay, so now we have that. Now we want to put here, um, oh God, we want to say, uh, we'll call it the Chapo, uh, image.shape sub one minus 224. Uh, what if that doesn't round nicely? Oh, you know what? Better idea. Call it image.shape.1 minus 224. You have hard coded 224 everywhere, that's a tragedy. Uh, divide by divided by two for that integer division, and we'll just say Chapo plus 224. All right, let's take a look at the cat. And in this case, it's a car. Oh, beautiful car. Uh, what do we think? Is that a beautiful car? All right, good. Cleaned up the resize logic. Okay. It's nice again because it's very confident about this. And it's very confident that it's something else, which means we probably just have the labels mixed up because it's not really a bow tie, is it? Let's check out bow tie and if there's car near there. No, they're probably just all wrong. Efficient net category list. I mean, this code has to be in tons of like stupid like, ooh, I can recognize a dog. Efficient net. Uh, category list. You see what I mean about how it's very confident in the bow tie? Um, category list. 
Did anyone find what I'm looking for? No, you guys are useless. Gucci flip-flops. Google is not stupid. Uh, I beg to differ. I mean, what do you mean by Google? Um, I just found that list somewhere on the internet, so that might very well be wrong. Uh, let's not say efficient net. Let's say image net category list. Here we go. Does this match this one? Totally different. Uh, oh, do I have laundry? Oh, I don't want to miss out on this. Um, I don't think so, though. Oh, yeah, but I've put it back in the thing. I put it in my, my spot. Let's see, maybe these labels work better. I do like that they start with zero. That's a big improvement. Mm. Mwah. Uh, is this JSON? Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing a dumps. It's dumps. No, I'm doing loads, I'm not doing a dumps. Expecting property name enclosed in double quotes. Oh, I see, it doesn't like that. Uh, do I really just want to do an eval? We could just do an eval. I don't know. You know what, someone probably already wrote this code before. Let's just Google it. Uh, here we go. Literal eval, huh? What's a literal eval? Safely ex evaluate an expression. Oh, it says it's safe. Let's trust it. Let's blindly trust it. Uh, what shoved in the bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's like shoved in, if it doesn't look folded, it's bad. Oh, AST dot literal eval. All right, we've got to import AST. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, beautiful. That looks good. No, wait, that's junk. What? Why did it put all these dots in there? Junk. Just added a lot of slashes. Oh, value error, malformed node or string. Doesn't look very malformed to me. What's malformed about it? Decode UTF-8? Oh. Wait, what, you don't like my exit? What? How come exit doesn't work? Did we get hacked? I feel like we got hacked by running AST literal eval. What? Who redefined exit? I don't know. I feel like that used to work, but what do I know? Yo, boys, look what it says that is. It said that's a sports car. Can't make that shit up, you know? That's a one in a thousand chance. If this one's a cat, this means it works one in a million. Let's go. Tabby cat, we did it. Oh, that was so easy. Oh, that's a short stream. Yes, please. Oh, we did it. Oh, that was so easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sports cat. Yeah, all right. Someone want to post some other pictures? Nothing inappropriate, but let's post some other pictures and we can try it. That ResNet comment is stupid. I feel dumb for writing it. We're going to delete it. Oh, man, I can't believe it was that easy. We just had to delete a few swishes. Yeah. Enet works. All right. Um, that's a broken. 
that a broken link? Oh, okay. We got some Air Jordans up in here. All right, let's try it. Let's see what it says it is. By the way, this code's written 100% from scratch, just NumPy and crap. Running shoe. Oh, yo. Yo, AI, man. Who's scared of the AI? That's right. It's coming for you. It knows about cats, cars, and shoes. <laughs> I've never really played with pre-trained ImageNet models before. It's impressive, and it's impressive that you can do it with just like, you know, like nothing, basically. Oh, and it's fast, thanks to Marcel Bischoff. Oh, we got a rooster Hawaii. Let's see what we got. No, that's a file. Oh, oh, we need the image. All right, let's go rooster. <laughs> it's a cock. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, man. Look, it works so well. Yeah. And it's written all in tiny grad. Did you believe that with just, you know, you know what? You know what's crazy about this? This thing works for training, too. If we could just send tiny grad 10 years back in time and someone had a big computer to run it on. Like, it is amazing that that's all it is. Can it do hot dogs? Post a hot dog picture. What do we got? I don't know what it's going to say for that. Oh, I think it's actually going to error out because that image is taller than it is wide. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We'll fix the bug. Let's fix the bug. Um, we want to say aspect ratio. Oh, that's a lot of bug to fix. Sorry. It only works with images that are wider than they are long. If someone wants to submit a pull request, they can. All right. Hot dog. Let's see. Let's see if it knows hot dog. Wait, what? I can't do that. Hot dog, hot dog, red hot. This is, this is, and it, it runs in under a second. It's amazing that this works. This is like all the code, and you need to know what these things are. Like, I guess you have to know what a batch norm is. Um, and this should be able to train as well. All right, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Load weights from... Rough copy of that. Eh, I like, wait, what? I like it better there. Let's see what code we can clean up. Does it actually need the squeeze? What if I get rid of the squeeze? Does it still work? Nope, it doesn't work. Now it thinks it's a three-toed sloth. Make sure to keep your squeeze in there. Oh. So this actually probably doesn't work on the backwards pass yet because I didn't write, if you're doing uh, dimension, if you're doing broadcasting, the forward ops support broadcasting and the backward ops don't. So that's a big project to fix. But yeah. It's, you don't need this. This is literally... And you don't need any of this image pre-processing. It's all fake. Um, it's just amazing how far things have come that you can write like a toy under a hundred line project. Uh, you just need to, if you rewrote those things fast on a GPU and you made that work, um, you, you, could, you could train this net, you know, 20 years ago, maybe. 20 years ago? 10 years ago, definitely. Ten years ago, definitely. If we could just send this back in time ten years, we could usher in the deep learning revolution. 
You know, if we could just send Tiny Grad back in time. <clears throat> How fast does it run on a CPU? Well, so it runs in 0.7 seconds. Let's uh, let's just see if it with bigger things. Uh, let's say like 128 access equals zero. Like what if I do batch size 128? Oh my God, it takes forever. By the way, a batch size 128 efficient at B0 on a GPU takes like uh, Who, who sent the inappropriate links? We should ban them. Send it back in time. The AI will rise sooner then. Because if we send it back to 1969, the people would just be frustrated. They'd be like, what the hell is Python? Oh. How many other deep learning network, how many other deep learning frameworks have efficient net fully implemented? You need a lot of GPU memory, not that much. I don't know, you know. Yo, you know what I just ordered? 83090s. I got 83090s coming. No, it's not using the GPU. This is just using the CPU. And it's incredibly slow. This is running on Mac. Think quantum computing will kill Bitcoin. This one will just be banned. Um, subscribe and I'll answer your question. How much RAM on the Mac? Uh, 16? I think. Okay, can I cat proc mem info? No, of course not. I can do about this Mac. I know you guys like looking at Um, yeah, 16. Oh no, I leaked my serial number. You guys are going to claim my warranty. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I stopped doing the Oculus hacking because I hate it so much. Um, thought they weren't in stock anywhere. Yeah, that's why you pay scalpers absurd fees. And you hate them the whole time. What do I think of the new, the new one? The new ATIs? Wow. Okay, that is terrible. It's actually slower to do that than it is to do that. It's actually like it's quicker if you're trying to do a batch to just do them all. Um, yeah, try it on your Linux VM with 4 gigs of RAM. It's going to work great. What do I think about Risk 5? Uh, is it like Civilization 5? Um, is self-play halfway to learning dynamics? Oh, I'm learning a dynamics model right now at Comma. We're, we're learning dynamics models now on the latest vision features. Uh, we just upgraded everything to Ubuntu 2004, PyTorch 1.7. The world is getting so good. Mm. The world is getting so good. How do we automate away middle management? We just fire them. I don't have any middle management. Fire them all. All right. So I think tiny grad. Um, all right. Let's let's go over the to dos. To do uh, efficient net backwards pass. Uh, to do. Train an efficient net. How insane would it be if we could actually train an efficient net using TinyGrad? Um, tensors on GPU. GPU support. Um, must must uh, support Mac. Reduce code, increase speed. Okay. 
Uh, we can we can play around with this a little bit. Let's let's do that a little more for the stream. Let's look into what it's actually going to take to move TinyGrad to the GPU so we can get real performance out of this library. You know. Um, so first, the only thing that we're going to have to change. Let's let's do a little refactoring before we think about GPU. Let's see if we can implement any of these ops in terms of other ops. Um, let's move dot down here. Gem. So it's hard to refactor with the text big for you people. Okay. Add, sub, mul, pow, sum, good. Wait, how do I do a mean? I do a mean somewhere. How do I do a mean if I can't divide? Let's look in the tensor library and see how I actually do that. Because divide doesn't work. Oh, mall div. Yeah, okay, so we do the reciprocal here, I get it. And the reason that we have to do, because the div op is kind of flaky. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I don't know. Something weird about that gradient. So we probably actually want to implement div. But then we'd have to figure out what the derivative of div is, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, uh, add sum mol pow, add sub mol. Actually, should we make sub just be a mol with? We could just make sub a mol and an add. No, then we're actually doing a multiply. Okay, let's make it an inv and an add. Uh, what is that op called where it's just a unary minus sign? Okay, theoretically we can implement that just in terms of those things, but I don't know. No, never mind, this is boring. Those are fine. I'm just trying to figure out like what the minimal set of ops is. All right, so we definitely need an add. We don't technically need a sub, but I don't actually want to implement it in terms of mall. Um, we definitely need a pow. Like a sum is a totally different thing, so that's fine. Um, we need a dot, we need a pad, we need a ReLU, um, all right, let's call these like, uh, uh, we're going to call them like simple ops. Pad 2D and reshape. And then 
uh, activation ops. ReLU, Sigmoid, Larg, Softmax. We have the Conv. And we have a couple pooling ops. Cool. We're just going to call them activation ops. Okay, so we have to implement 14 ops. Now, unfortunately, so one beautiful thing about, uh, about things like the Qualcomm Snapdragon is that the GPU and CPU have unified memory. So I think that's true for the Intel graph. It's probably not even true for the Intel graphics. It seems like it has its own memory. I don't know. But either way, we have an AMD Radeon Pro in here, and that has four gigabytes of, uh, of, uh, normal memory. So that's sad. We do have to make, like, broadcasting semantics work. Um, I will add that to the to-do. Uh, make broadcasting work on the backward pass. Simple, please. So you guys know what broadcasting is? If you don't know what broadcasting is, get ready. I'm about to educate you, okay? Uh, so let's make a whole bunch of zeros. Let's make like 10 zeros, right? Uh, important on pi as NP. All right, cool. We got 10 zeros, right? Notice how I can add a 1 to 10 zeros. I just broadcasted that 1 across the 10, right? I can do it even if I make NP.1's 1, right? And then here I can add 3 to this. And beautiful, look, it's 4 on all of them, right? Um, and I can even broadcast, you know, I can broadcast on, uh, on axes, right? So if I do that and then I say like NP.array... This isn't going to work exactly, but I'm adding two to the first one and one to the first row. That's not going to work because I have to reshape this, but if I reshape it like this, we're going to get a row of twos and a row of ones like that, right? So that's called broadcasting. Now, unfortunately, my broadcasting doesn't work on backward pass, so we have to make that work. Um, what has to be broadcastable? Yeah, probably everything. Well, not like the pools and stuff. Probably just the basic ops. Because I'm not a real Twitch streamer. Well, I don't have a sub counter. Ugh, that double line is so annoying. Mr. Pool can be so annoying. Who remembers what that's from? That is so true. I could write that better, but whatever. What other lines are absurdly long? Ugh, this line here is absurdly long. Why 
line's long too, but I don't really think there's a better way to ride that line. Yeah. Yeah, that's uglier. Remember guys, tiny grad is a work of art. So the code has to be beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna have to rewrite this on the GPU if we wanna make training actually work. run the ops test to make sure it didn't break anything. Looks good. Unfortunately my div op is so bad. I'm gonna bug out again. More white space. Hi, OpenCL. GPU tensor library. I mean, you know, we really could we could back the whole thing by uh, we could back the whole thing by um, you know what you would call it. So we could back it by uh, PyTorch, but that would be cheating. Um, yeah. So okay, Pi OpenCL. Wrong pip. So I think everything would work if we just used, well, not exactly. We'd have to make a small change to tensor. And then we have to dispatch the ops, depending on whether we want to put them on the GPU or not on the GPU. So we'd have to make GPU tensors work. We now have Pi Open CL. Let's play around. Salve Delg, thank you for subscribing. Import Pi Open CL as CL. Mm. This looks fun. I wonder if we can make it work totally without NumPy and just CL. No, nah, because we still want to pass in things in NumPy. We want we want our creation ops to be in NumPy. We don't have to go crazy with uh, creation ops. So we'll require NumPy. And then we can write code like this, which is actually kind of really nice. Um, wow. Okay, that works really well with, uh, okay. I think we should do this work in a branch. Start with a branch called GPU. 
And then we want to add a dot CUDA method. Yeah, take that, NVIDIA. Dot CUDA, what do you think? Um, let's throw a try uh, accept around this. Even though it's not CUDA. That's right. We're going to genericize CUDA just like Kleenex. Yeah, let's genericize CUDA. Yeah. Accept import error. Pass. No GPU support. All right. So we have dot CUDA. Um, and if we dot CUDA something, we're going to want to copy the buffer to the GPU, so, uh, oh, we need a context. Um, where should we create the CL context? Maybe up here? Is it really called create some context? I think I have options. What? Oh my god. This is so hard. create some context. Oh, an interactive is true. Oh, I can just say answers. Tuple has no attribute pop. Oh, cool. Can I do minus one? No minus one. Okay. Um, change if you don't have Mac. Okay, we've created a context. Now we need to make a buffer. That's when you do dot CUDA. Oh, dot CUDA. Oh, I wonder what CUDA is. It means generic GPU computation. Yeah. Um, self dot data equals cl dot buffer host buff equals self dot data yeah okay so now should we try out our nice tiny grad um from tiny grad dot tensor import tensor oh tensor We should do this in a notebook. Oh, warning, it's not float 32, really? What am I doing? I can just say tensor.0 is 45. That's better code. Yeah, use your abstractions. All right, cool. MF is not defined. CL.mem flags? Oh, great. Okay. Let's do this in a notebook. Uh, did I create? Do I set the path right? Yeah, 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 good. Okay, good. So now we can develop this in a notebook. Uh, tensor dot zeros. All right, we have a Z tensor. 
Now we can say Z dot CUDA. Ooh, ooh, let's see what happened. Ooh, pi open CL buffer. What if I call it again? Ah, bytes like object. Okay. Uh, we should prevent that. Uh, self dot GPU is false. If not self dot GPU, um, and then we also need a CPU. So this actually moves it. In Torch, it makes a copy. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. We'll, we'll understand about that later. Uh, I think CUDA return self. Um, and then we have to figure out how to copy it back. So how do we copy it back? Great. Very complicated. We have to create a queue as well. We'll create a global queue. Okay, so we have to copy this back from the GPU. I don't know if I like how I'm doing this, but let's play with it a little bit more and see who we're doing. Okay. That creates a buffer. Where does a.np come from? Oh, it's here. You can't just do that. Can I, can I, what if I do z.data, expected an indented block, Cookies, who has cookies? Steal my token. Wait, but now where'd my chat go? Really? There's my chat. Is that where the windows? No, it's that one, great. How many people are watching right now? I can't say. Um, 641, cool. Okay, I think we're gonna have to track the shape out of band. Size is into zero, what? No, 100. Um, assert. Uh, self dot data dot d type equals np dot float thirty two. Um, only float thirty two on GPU. Uh, and then we're gonna also say, yeah, I don't really like this. You shouldn't be able to change the shape. So we're going to say, we're actually just going to change the API a little bit here. We're going to say self.shape equals data.shape. Um, and then we can remove that. All right? Uh, and then shape will still work. So we're going to need a, well, we 
we copy it back, um, we're going to say self.data equals np.empty self.shape. Uh, D type equals np.flow32. And then we'll just say cl.nqcopy. In the queue, we want to copy from, oh, no, we just call this data. Data, self.data, self.data equals data, uh, return self. Okay. So now we have CUDA and CPU, just like Torch. Uh, so let's just test CUDA, CPU, uh, pi OpenCL buffer has no, what? Cool, works well. Oh, we have to set self.gpu. Actually, I don't understand how that worked at all. Oh, it didn't work. Good. All right. We have copying tensors to the GPU and back from the GPU working. Hmm. Now we're going to have to modify the dispatcher to dispatch for GPU ops. Oh, this is so easy. Copy tensors to and from GPU. Sweet. Why does the efficient net example crop instead of resize and stretch? Because stretching is disgusting. You know, sometimes it makes people fat, sometimes it makes people skinny. Either way, no one's happy. If you get cropped, you can't really complain. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are trying out TinyGrad, you know? TinyGrad is a great open source project, and it now runs efficient nets. So you guys should try it. We're going to add GPU support. Are you still trying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to them. How's curtains going? Oh, you can drill. Did you get the right drill bit? Or are you going to wobble the small drill bit around to make a big hole? That's right. Always get the right tools. You'll feel better. You'll make the perfect hole. You'll feel so satisfied. You know, I'm going to a Halloween party tonight in the presidential suite. Mm. Is Riff Raff too copyrighted to play? Uh, no, nah, Riff Raff's not copyrighted. There we go.
Look, man, you want to DMCA me and take me down, do it. Do it. You know what? You can live life afraid of the government or you cannot. And I don't live life afraid of the government. But, you know, I'll probably end up in jail for it one day. But, hey, man, you know, uh, what? About not being afraid of the government? People are scared of the government, man. I'm scared of the government. That's right. I know, I know, I know, but you know, it's a free country. At least that's what the government told me. <laughs> free Martin Screlly. I agree with that. I agree. You know, we were talking about who we should pardon, and he's on the top of the list. Donald Trump, if you're listening, I will actually go vote for you if you pardon Martin Screlly. Alex is sorry, but she needs to get this done. Tensor has no attribute add. Why does sometimes they not get registered? Um, hmm. Whatever, we'll hack this for now. Unsupported. What? What? What are you saying, Alex? I'm busy. Now look guys, if I get banned, it's you who lose out, not me, you know? I was kidding about buying meth, by the way. I've never bought meth in my life. Certainly not with Twitch subscriber dollars. All right, so we have to write an ad operation. Let's write an ad operation. Um, we got a pull request, what do we get? Well, stretch the set of crop. Fix temp location for Windows. Oh, that's disgusting. Wait, can't we just get tempter? Doesn't this work on Linux too? Is temp file a built into Python? Or is this some library that I now have to have? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You want to change that? Uh, you just don't, don't, i sorry, I'm not logged into GitHub right now, but just don't put the, uh, modify it to not and be different on Linux. Um, you don't need that if statement. The temp file one is better and more Pythonic. Uh, no, 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 that's no, I'm not doing that. What, the guy's trying to stretch my images. You know, someone's gonna be, you know, someone's gonna look fat in a stretched image, they're gonna sue. You know, we just we just don't wanna take that kind of risk, man. What? All right. Oh. You hit concrete. You need a masonry drill bit. Alex, I don't know what to tell you. This is your project. What? I never complained about anything. Mm. Masonry drill bits usually have a little thingy on them. Yeah, yeah, we'll point it up. Hmm. So CTX is a function. Let's just add it here. 
We'll say CLCTX equals CTX. Does that work? Um, we can also say CLQ equals Q. Mm, you know what? Let's not just call these generically. Let's get ad working on the GPU, and then I think I'm happy, and that's the stream. So I gotta go to LA. We got a party to go to. What? What do you mean? We're very cool. Very cool, man. If I was in high school now. Shit, I was popular the first time in high school. Right, I've been watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch, right? So this is what I've been thinking about a lot. Being cool in high school and stuff. Um, yo, high school was, 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 was the best time of my life. That's why I listen to emo music. Uh, yo, you guys ever see the show Do Over? Where Joel pretends that he wrote Time of Your Life? by Green Day, because he went back in time. That's a show. Joel, he's in the show called Do Over. Let's see if we can find it. Um, about a man who gets to relive his childhood. Joel, yeah, I knew his name. The series begins showing an adult Joel Larson as a single depressed paper salesman, disappointed with how his life turned out. Wow. No, 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 no. I signed up for Hulu. I know. I, you know, who signs up for Hulu? But um, I am not a bug man, yo. All right, all right, all right. All right. Harassment architecture. <laughs> speaking, speaking about bug man. <laughs> um. All right, I forgot we got to write actual code here. Let's go. Let's just copy the OpenCL example. Rig. Uh, we have to create a write-only buffer. It should not be a.np, it should be x.size, is that right? Prig.sum, oh, we should probably pre-compile this to do pre-compile on import, question mark. Eh, maybe not. All right, we want to prig sum. It's not the CTX. We have to say CL, say CTX dot CL CTX. Uh, CTX dot CL CTX. CTX dot CLQ. Oh. Can't do a dot shape there. But again, I think if I just do x dot size, that's fine. None uh, x y res g return res g. Let's try that. Bye bye chicken picture. Why are you guys highlighting messages? This looks like it's time for sub only chat. Inconsistent use of tabs and spaces. Ugh.
why don't you just order an apartment with curtains? What? Luma? L Luma came with curtains. Yeah, but it came with curtains and douchebags. Actually, no, most of the people in Luma were pretty nice. I don't know about that. Why would they make, why would they, if you're just going to make that MF, why wouldn't they call it CL.MF, you know? Unable to compute length of object. What? Oh, I think, do we have to put x dot size in these thingies? Ah, that is okay. Like duct tape? No, I just use the screws instead of the anchors. Oh, you just want if you're screwing to masonry, you're gonna break your screws. There's a little bit of like drywally stuff. God damn it. <laughs> Church has 41,000 followers. Of course, he was cool in high school. That's right. That's right, you know? Because like Bowling for Soup said, high school never ends. And I'd let you listen to that, but it's copyrighted. I'd also let you listen to The Candyman, you know? No, we're going to listen to The Candyman, you know? The Candyman can, you know that song? Gonna, we're going to, yeah. That, that.
you guys can hear me. I hope we enjoyed Wonka time. <laughs> Is that the new Migos song? Wonka time. Um, oh, the tunnel scene. Oh, yeah. Um, why is this an invalid value? I don't get it. Pi open CL buffer. We can check the size. It's 40. Um, for printing stuff, okay, created that. Now why can't I go to CPU? CLNQ read buffer failed, invalid value. What's invalid? That's how it does it in the example, right? We return res g. Write only. We don't copy any buffer. Sum, submit it to the queue. CLNQ copy, empty like. Why doesn't that work? Oh. oh, this is n bytes. Ah, I see. X size times four. Because it's float thirty two. So this is still wrong. Shape is not data dot size. Shape is data dot size over four. Well, add's not a registered thing. Oh, it can't do add. There we go. All right. Aside from the fact that it's way too big. For a reason I don't really understand. Because that should just be made with shape, right? So what if I say z3.shape? Is it not 10? Somehow 40? It's 40. Did that 4 just not get loaded? I thought I divided it by 4. Or am I not needing to multiply that in some way? I'm actually making the buffer way too big. <laughs> They do n bytes, right? X dot size. Oh no, x dot size. Okay, I don't need to change that because that's the GPU tensor. Okay, look at this. We have an add on a GPU. Whoa, that's wild. Look at that. Tiny grad can add on GPU. Add on GPU. Um, all right, should we uh, should we try some speed benchmarks? So let's just let's add a whole bunch of times. What invalid arg size? A eh? Oh, that's not right. We actually don't want to enqueue the size because that's going to run off into junk memory. We want to enqueue just four of them. Divide by four. You see why we have to divide by four? Because it's like mixing up bytes and not bytes. Okay, still wrong. Uh... 
10 cz2.data.size. Okay. Why does that have size? To oh, no. Oh, because we converted to the CPU. Oh, that's stupid. Um, it should really make a copy. Let's make a copy. Instead of doing that, should make a copy, right? Sometimes. I don't have to set that, we can just return tensor data. We do want to make a copy and return the copy. Ah, two, three, four. All right, let's make big arrays. And now let's do time it. Not time out. Probably triggered re import, so let's do that. Unbound local variable. Ugh. Adding GPU, so why no Rock M? It's not actually CUDA, it's OpenCL. Oh my god, we're actually dispatching a kernel for each one of those ads. That's terrible. This is gonna be so slow. Why can't time it just do the smart thing? Star child? Is that a real name? Ooh, star child. What separates setup code from code? In the first line of setup code? Oh my god, it's printing so many things, it's disgusting. There's no teardown code. Okay. So that's how fast add is on the CPU. Now let's check it on the GPU. What? Oh, it's not going to work because we don't have CPU ops enabled. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. Who wrote this terrible code? Well, I don't know, that seems pretty fast to me. It's doing it in, in, it's adding numbers so fast. Adding works. Yeah, I'm doing load X, yeah, and it's, it's bad. Uh, OpenCL is cool. We are ahead of the curve. I really hope this supports OpenCL 2.1 so we can use all the latest OpenCL features. And Apple, I know you want to deprecate OpenCL, and I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Usually you make good moves. Look at how you've moved the world to USB-C. 
Look at how you've moved the world away from CD-ROMs. Look at how you've moved the world to so many great standards, yet you insist on shitty metal. Consider ditching metal and moving back to OpenCL. This is my plea to you. You can make OpenCL the standard for the future and not fragment the ecosystem. Microsoft, consider moving away from DirectX. I know this is going to be a much harder sell for you, but the whole world supports OpenGL now. You know what's beautiful about OpenGL and OpenCL? The openness. You know what's terrible about DirectX and Metal? The closeness, the fragmentation, the wasted hours of millions of hours wasted on your fragmentation because you insist on in having your own stupid standard. It's not better. It's worse for humanity. Ditch metal, go back to OpenCL. Mm -hmm. There's no teardown code. Too big. Look at that. It turns out if you add zero, if you add one to zero ten times, you get tens. Uh, okay, how much do we need to write in order to support tiny bobnet? Well, we need to write a gem. We definitely need to write that. Oh my god, all the all the tests are gonna fail. Wow. All right, well, let's, let's work more on the, you guys can write the ops. I, I believe in your ability to write the ops um, for the GPU branch. But let me work more on the actual skeleton of things. And then you guys can fill in all the ops with pull requests by doing pull requests to the GPU branches. We can get the tests all working one at a time again. Oh, this is going to be so enjoyable for everybody involved. Yeah, I'll work on the skeleton of things. Give me a little bit. I gotta fix that shape issue. That would be kind of nice, and then that would be a better, uh, would be a cleaner way to support this. So right now, the problem is that you can't do z dot data dot shape because pi open cl cl buffer has no attribute shape. But we might be able to do this. Is that gonna work? We can say z.data.shape? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, let's go, all right. So now we can get rid of, we'll add shape back as a property. We'll make sure every, whenever we create a GPU tensor, we set the shape. Um, whenever we actually create a buffer, we have to set the shape. So we don't want that anymore. That's junk. Um, we don't want that anymore. We can just do else here. No, that's not true because of that. Uh, we shouldn't check the d-type anywhere, so that should be okay. But we just have to make self.data.shape work. So where do I create buffers? Um, I create one buffer here. So we have to say regg equals x.shape. Uh, helper buffer like. So 
we'll make a buffer like thing. And then where else do I create buffers? And I convert it here. So we have to say data.shape uh, equals self.data.shape. Or actually, I could just say self.shape. Yes. Yes, that should work. And now we should be able to add weirdly shaped things. Well, let's make sure it actually does work. Oh, what's 22? Oh, you know I'm a no guy, you know? I'm a no, you gotta vote no on that shit. No, they can't, no. Alex, all that is, all that is, is basically saying, give me a thousand dollars, give me a thousand dollars. I'm not gonna give you a thousand dollars. Okay, I'll settle for a hundred. Oh, that's so much more reasonable. Here's one hundred dollars. That's all that is. Hey, you vote your conscience out. But, you know. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, exactly. Exactly, exactly. You know, boys, I'll tell you who I'm voting for. I have made a decision to not vote. Because you know what? If you vote, you're complicit. You're complicit. You, you, by voting, are either enthusiastically supporting Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And let me tell you about doing that. You're complicit. You're saying, well, yes, you system. Want to establish the California Privacy Protection Agency? No, no, fuck no. I don't want to establish anything. I want to dissolve the state of California's government. All right, let's make that one work. Tensor has no attribute add. Oh, I'm getting so sick of this. Something about auto reload doesn't work. Um, kernel set arg failed, invalid argument. Great. I don't really understand that. Well, let's first make sure I just didn't break anything. Yeah, it's intentionally confusing because they hate you. This is the state reminding you that they hate you. Just vote for Kanye, you know, you know. Ugh. You can, you can, but then like I'd feel the urge to vote on some of these other things and you're just, you're just lending, you're lending legitimacy to the whole system. Yeah, but I didn't vote, so, you know. Oh, there's big problems, oh, the healthcare, the college. I didn't vote. Oh, you voted? Oh, well, yeah, you know. Maybe that was your problem. Um, kernel set arg failed invalid kernel argument. Why do I have an invalid kernel argument? I said on Lex Friedman what I want to see. I will vote when they give a math, science, history, and civics test to the candidates. It's like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? But for the candidates, see? Yeah, what well, was my idea? You can't steal my ideas. Oh, I'm saying res g equals x dot shape. We actually want to say res g dot shape equals x dot shape. Yo, you guys should have caught that bug. You know, if you weren't all thinking about stupid crap like voting, you would have caught the bug. That. Oh, look, it already works. How did that just work? Wild. Cool. We stick shapes in. No, anarchy sucks, man. Don't don't be anarchy. Anarchy, you know. I went on a date with this girl who was an anarchist, and I told her that, you know, let me tell you how anarchy works. It's just you're the slave of whoever has the biggest gun, which is what we have right now, but at least the guy with the biggest gun is, you know, the government. No. Did you know San Francisco requires the police department to maintain a minimum of 1,900 police officers? Wait, wait, wait. If you vote yes on that, they're going to get less. So sometimes you can vote yes when yes actually means less, but this is rare. So they're asking if you want to remove the requirement. 
Well, I'll read you. I'll read you this. There's a slate star codex about this. Um, about the slate star codexes. Um, it's about Yipskipskipsk is a meta republic. Uh, the representative for monarchy is a hereditary position. The representative for democracy is elected. The representative for plutocracy is the richest person in the country. See, I like this guy. The representative for minarchy is an honorary position. It doesn't really matter who holds it because their only job is to vote no on everything, except for things that are sneakily phrased so that no means more government, in which case they can vote yes. <laughs> wait, 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 but, but in, that, in that prop, did they also put something about how they're going to like divert the police officer funding to like, you know, some dude's pockets? I was about to say large rainbow flags, but I realized that I would su probably support the large rainbow flags. I love large rainbow flags. Having been a resident of Castro. I am a proud no voter. Ah, oh, yes. Good. My, my, my GPU is working well. It says anarchy is bad, then rejects literary, literally any other system. Whoa, 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 whoa. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm rejecting. Did I say I'm rejecting every other system? I vote for blockchain. But blockchain is not on the ballot. Only old white guys. You've not voted several times and it felt good each time? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. No, you want to know, guys, really why I'm not voting? Because I got a lot of text messages telling me to vote and they were ads. And like, I want, I want to convince the world that advertising doesn't work. You know, whenever a company sends me an email about like, hey, you should use our product. Hey, do you have five minutes for a phone call? That's okay, I let it slide. But if they give me a call or a text message with that same shit, I promise to never use that company again. Like, I want to punish people for advertising. I want to make advertising spend have negative ROI so it will stop. But ads do work. See, that's the problem. We need to make ads not work. We need to band together and, on, like, whenever we see an ad, if there's an ad for Pizza Hut, buy Domino's. If there's an ad for Domino's, buy Pizza Hut. If there's ads for both of them, support your local pizza store. When that guy gets the idea to buy ads... Look, I love trains too, but Alex, they said as, okay, they do say the representative for minarchy is allowed to vote his conscience once, but then must resign the position. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should just buy nothing. That's right. I'm moving to the woods. I'm raising chickens, but they're going to be like those good chickens in Indonesia, not like the shit plump chickens we have here, you know? You hated voting? Are you, are you enjoying it? Well, one person on Twitch said that they didn't vote and it felt really good. So I'm excited. Every time I vote, I really don't feel good about it. Every time I don't vote, I feel good. I've never not voted before. You, I voted in every single Alex, presidential Alex, tear up the ballot. Do it. Do it. Don't vote. I'm We're in California. Our vote doesn't even matter. Except voting no on the props might matter, but. Did you vote for the Caltrain? I did. You voted for the Caltrain! I can't believe that! I pretty much know what everything else. One-eighth cent? That's where it starts. One-eighth cent out of what? I really like Caltrain, though. We don't even live there! There's no fucking Caltrain! Wait a second, is this a San Francisco ballot? Yeah. Oh, you're voting remotely in San Francisco. Wait, that's a San Francisco tax. Yeah. Fuck them. Accelerationism. Accelerate your opponent, decelerate your tribe. Vote good things for San Diego and shit things for San Francisco. Are we voting for Kanye or Mario West? Oh, you haven't decided. <laughs> Who's he on the ballot one? Rocky De La Fuenta Guerrera. Sounds like a fighter. He does. Let's look him up. Rocky De La Fuenta. Rocky de la Fuente. Oh, he's an American biz. Oh, he looks kind of like Trump. <laughs> What's his deal? He's funny. 
He campaigned as a critic of Donald Trump's immigration policy. Oh, mm. Mm, that is true. That is true. Well, actually, to be fair, we don't hate Donald Trump's immigration policy. We actually don't like the immigration policy they've been enforcing. Well, whatever bullshit they... Yes, we, yes. Well, I don't know. We are pro more thoughtful immigration, but we're also, me personally, I'm anti voting. Uh, no, I, I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. The immigration policy in this country is ridiculous. Um, no. Uh, wait, wait, but let's, let's, you want to read, you want to read his stances on immigration? Yeah. Let's see what he has to say. Let's, 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 let's check out his website. Am I an ad right now? Um, Rocky, his website is rocky101.com. <laughs> it looks terrible. Guy, guy looks like... <laughs> uh, wait, let's, let's, let's see what Rocky's stances on the issues are. Uh, uh... Uh, uh, universal and healthcare, sh expensive shit. Uh, he does not have an immigration plan. He just wants to change the rhetoric on immigration and probably enforce the same shit. Um, How about Barclay Griffin? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. I did hear that people just, like, the, the way that Kanye got onto his ballot uh -huh. was people just voted. Like, he didn't even want Kanye as vice president. People just voted for it. Um, you don't get to choose, like, your vice president in some of these parties. They vote for it. If you burn your ballot, you should burn your passport, too. You know what? I love who not voting offends. Like, like the fact that people are offended by me opting to not exercise my voice, that is my true right as an American. Right. I feel, I feel stressed out thinking about Alex, I feel so liberated knowing that my voice doesn't matter. <laughs> Your choice can determine whether California goes Biden by 72.339% or 72.339%. Notice how I said the same number twice because you were a rounding error in float 32. Actually, you're probably, are you a rounding error in float 32? I don't think so. You're definitely, you're definitely a rounding error in float 16. I'm hungry too. You want to order a pizza? Yeah. What do you think of that? But like good pizza. Oh, good pizza. Yeah, perfect. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm not anti electoral college. Oh, well, I'm anti electoral college. Oh, Wait, the popular vote? Oh God, that's worse. No. I I support. We have 40 million people. I We're definitely million something. Million Do we really want fucked California to have more impact? No, no, I support, I support some real, something I would really support and I would vote for is voting reform. Okay, if, the gerrymandering. Yeah, the reason I don't vote is that the whole thing is so fucked, you know? It's so fucked. Like, if, if they would, uh, well, I want, I want, I want uh, range voting. I want to be able to give every candidate one to five stars, we add up all the stars, whoever gets the most stars wins. I'm Love that. I think it like best expresses the voter preferences. It's not complicated. Everyone who's ever rated a restaurant understands it. I'm also okay with the thumbs up, thumbs down voting. Like notice how every website has moved to this. You know, Twitter doesn't just like take the popular vote and show you one tweet. You know, imagine Twitter did that. <laughs> Votes waste based on taxes paid. I would definitely support that, though. I think we should make it quadratic. Quadratic voting based on taxes paid, I would love. Can we get urban pizza? Um, we want like uh, little pizzas. Yeah. Little pizzas. We have we have urban all the time. Wait, what kind of pizza do you 
Um, Wow, this turned into a political reform stream. Guys, that's why I don't vote. You know, every time I think that my voice might make a difference, I remember that it won't and I don't vote. <laughs> All right. Um, no, actually, I think I've told you guys that I actually would support dictatorship as long as we got a good dictator. That's the problem, though. And I, that's a hard problem to solve. I'm not saying it's easy, right? Like, right now, Elon Musk is my choice for dictator. Um, I think I want Kanye as co-dictator, but the only right co-dictator gets is the right to kill the dictator. But then it just goes back to what we have now. So Elon Musk's dictator and Kanye's co-dictator with that one right. What? Oh, Ooh, Detroit pizza. Yeah, I don't know. You know Chicago pizza? There's a Chicago pizza place in North Park. Oh yeah. How do I define a good dictator? My vote's for Elon Musk. How do I ensure they don't become a bad dictator? We have the co-dictator, whose right it is to kill the dictator. And then I think we should have a co-co-dictator, too, who can kill the co-dictator. But then you don't have to go any further than that. But if the co-co-dictator kills the co-dictator, I don't think he becomes co-dictator. I think he has a 50-50 chance of becoming co-dictator. We have to do some game theory on this. Eggies is on here. Eggies? Yeah. Whoa. Um, you complain about California votes being worthless, and the next sentence you say the popular vote is bad. You understand that if there was a popular vote, my vote would be just as worthless, right? Like, what are the odds of my vote swaying the election? Zero. Don't vote. Voting is like buying a lottery ticket, but dumber. No, but I, would, I did say that I would sell my vote. If instead of all those people spending money on ads, they just like, you know, here's, here's how much I get paid for a Biden vote, here's how much I get paid for a Trump vote, perfect. I'd love that world. We can pay all the people, we can redistribute the wealth. <laughs> so you literally have no backing logic. Yeah, voting's dumb, man. It's an emotional response, you know? I feel very emotional about not voting. <laughs> you never voted. See, this guy had it right from the beginning. I regrettably have voted before. It was a mistake every time. Voting has been advertised to me everywhere. Yeah, they, they, they put it on like Discord and crap. Everywhere. Yeah, that's why, that, you know, was it like this in 2016? I don't remember that much pressure not, to vote in 2016. Not that many texts. The texts have just gone worse. The texts are terrible. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, I tell these people... The only thing I would vote for is a law banning the texts. A law banning the texts. I, I vote for that, but now we're going to have to fund the commission, and then, you know... Wait, why doesn't AT&T just ban the texts? No, it should go all the way up. I want to be on the block list. I want to be on the block list, too. Um, no, you can send me a text, but it costs a dollar. What do you think of that? Imagine you got a dollar for every text. They just have to Apple pay you a dollar with every ad text. That'd be great. Um, no, they tell me and then, you know, sometime they call me about a candidate and I tell them that I'm a felon and I'm not allowed to vote. And I told them it's because I killed a guy in Reno and if you have a problem with that, you know, you shouldn't call me. We're getting which one? Is that our new Super Smash Bros. character? I don't know. Perfect. Just get good stuff on it. Don't get it. Don't get a bad pizza. There's no such thing. I I know I spoke. That was very generic. Um. It makes a copy, right? The torch one makes a copy. I don't know. Either way, the tiny grad one makes a copy.
Alright. Yeah. You know, I really shouldn't register like this. Can I use like a dispatcher? I think there's ways to like I need a dispatcher. How do I catch the bad calls? Catch all oh member access class. There's like a way to do this, right? We're going calzone? That's a good choice. Are we over? Kanye's only on for vice president. I would just write in Kanye. But, uh, you know, how do you make your vote have impact? Pro tip? Don't vote. Uh, no, I always use Python because Python's the best language ever to exist, except that it's slow. But someone's going to make it fast. Yo, these uh, piston came out. Um, and they released this. And then I'm like, oh, okay, you have releases for, for Ubuntu. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'll try to get it to build for Mac. It's closed source. And like, you know, it, it's sad. Like, our plan is to open source the code in the future, but since compiler projects are expensive, we no longer have benevolent corporate sponsorship. It's currently closed source while we iron out the business model. Like, at fir my, my first response is like, this is useless and no one's going to use it because it's closed source. But my next response is like, I do want you guys to have money. So how do we solve that? A proposition giving $1 from every citizen of California to fund a faster Python. Can we get that on the props? I would support that prop. My special interest, though. And I'm as bad as the next guy then, but, you know. One dollar from every citizen of California to support faster Python. You know, the government's always spending money on crap that I don't care about. Imagine they spend money on faster Python. Mm. New. No, how do I? What? It's like. It's like get at her. Is that it? What? Hmm. Ah. Uh. Sounds good. It's just changing the cards and spreading the Do you get pizza? Three different ways. Alex, I'm deferring this to you. I'm I'm focused on on get at her. Yeah, so we won't set at her anymore. We'll say tensor dot ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Say here. Um, Ops equals that. Ops GPU equals that. If self dot GPU return ops GPU sub X. If GPU else tensor.ops.append, oh no, tensor.ops sub name equals function, uh, tensor.ops GPU sub name equals function. Right. Cool. Beautiful. All right. Name ops GPU is not defined because we got to do tensor. Dot, tensor. Dot, mm, add. No, 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 no. 
add object has no attribute add. Oh, because, okay. Uh, we're doing function.apply. We'll return this. don't actually register that code doesn't run for some reason or it's running in a different order partial method object is not callable why not isn't that exactly what I did set after tensor name partial method function dot apply function Not right. Partial method object is not callable, but it should be. Oh, because yeah, I don't actually need partial method. If I just do partial. Mm, but it's a method because I want to call it with self. Forward missing required argument. No, useless. I guess actually, I think I can do this now. And that should work. And that actually should also fix that weird swapping issue. Oh, yeah, okay. And I think we can actually also fix that swap issue now in function. This could. Um, if type.arg equals tensor, which it should be what we want. Hey, can you no, that involves going somewhere. Oh, go Alex, can you if you want to go to the farmer's market, it's a free world. both on CPU and GPU. Oh, that's so much better too, that register. Just like adds it to the ops there. Decent GPU working now. Now, actually, the test should still pass, I believe, on the GPU branch. Because we didn't make any of them push them to GPU, right? That'd be great. I wasn't really angry at Twitch. I know why I'm not a partner. Um, and it's mostly because... I don't stream consistently, and I don't have a schedule. I know the kind of person Twitch wants, you know? And if my life was being a Twitch streamer, you know, I'd do it. Not attempting to sound too callow here. What's callow? I'm reading your message because it's so lit up. It's so purple. Do you have any advice rather than sheer platitudes for contending with little motivation and or alacrity? What are these words? Brisk and cheerful readiness. Oh. 
And do you ever feel this sense of listlessness like most people do? Who would sub if you'd be a regular streamer? What's Pie Stone? You mean Piston? Well, that's kind of a better name though. Pie Stone. I'm going to make Pie Stone. It's going to be open source Piston. Um, I would support, yeah, I mean, I would support like, like a Hunger Games style. Uh, I, I mean, anything is better than what we currently have. At least like that would be way more entertaining than watching. I mean, no, I, I, again, like I'm all for di debate diversity. We should have like a wrestling match. We should have a knowledge quiz. Um, you know, just like think of a lot of reality TV shows and we should just put the presidents through them. Remember, when you're playing the Hunger Games, wow, it really is like the Hunger Games. You know when you're playing the Hunger Games, you know what's secondary at all? What's that? Is that Alyssa Violet? Oh, wow. Uh, a rap battle, oh, that'd be so great, man. That'd be so great, you know? Oh, yeah. All right, wow. This is, this is shaping up to be great. Oh, why does the test fail? Let's see. Can I not see it because I'm not logged in? I can't see why the test fails. Useless, useless, useless. But we now support GPU tensors. This is so exciting. Tiny Grad's becoming so powerful. Um, all right, are we ready to just start writing ops? Uh, Well, that's loud. Hmm. Let's just make. Um, I don't really want to write a conf on the GPU. That sounds like a lot of work for now. Let's just make Tiny Bob Network on the GPU, and then that's good for our stream. Test mists. All right, so we're gonna fetch MNIST. We wanna go back to Tiny Bobnet. We'll make Tiny Bobnet GPU. Oh, Bobnet's already down here. Oh, that's Torch Bobnet. Forward, tensor, I, whoops. X train. Train, oh, on the X train. Um, okay, let's put this up here. I'm gonna say model tensor X train dot reshape minus no ten minus or minus one twenty eight times twenty eight. Uh, oh, is this not what type is this? 
I think it's the right type. You going to the farmer's market? I'm not at home, but downstairs. The restaurant in the building. Oh, the Thai food. No, there's like a Latin place downstairs. I'm going to go investigate what they have. Uh, Would you do like a taco? Oh, what happened to pizza? It just sounds so unhealthy. Okay, I understand. Okay, we need to write ReLU dot and log softmax. We actually didn't need to write add, so so much for writing add. Um, all right, so these are the GPU ops. Uh, let's create something called buffer like X, where we just do this. I don't think we need x dot size over four here. I think we can just say x dot shape, or even better, red dot shape. Um, we should really write tests for the GPU ops too, but I don't think we have a GPU. We use a CL implementation of OpenCL. Oh, wait, I don't even know if gradients work. All right, let's test the minimal tiny grad example, but on the CPU. Before we get to Bobnet and go crazy. Okay, so that runs right now. So if we go CUDA, CUDA, MATLAB. Right, we're going to have to write it no matter what class.function. I open CL gem. Whoa, Pi Seal Bloss. Should we use Pi Seal Bloss? Oh, wow, that looks pretty easy. Let's use Pi Seal Bloss. Or should we not? It sounds like cheating. Or is it cheating? How common is this library? CL Bloss library, eh? Oh, it uses swig. Seems slow. Let's write fast matrix multiplies. You know what, this is good. This is good because it lets us not cheat and use NumPy like we cheated before. Because that's cheating. NumPy didn't exist in 2010. Remember, our goal with TinyGrad is to send it back in time. What? What do you mean giving myself purpose? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? Tiny grad is real. What? Alice doesn't support tiny grad. Because number is shitty magic. Do you think the U.S. should go back to the gold standard? No, I think it should go to the coin standard. I think we should put all the monies on a blockchain. And then you can fork the monies if you want.
I did merge the einsum PR. After, you, it takes a little bit of time, but if you read it a bit, it works. Um, the number jit is evil magic, so that's why we didn't merge it. Uh, actually, let's just do this. So we can just make this like this. And we can have buffer like just return buffer ctx x dot shape. Um, and now instead of x dot size, we want to do say size equals one for s in shape size times equals s. Oh, size equals four. We really want our tests. Let's write tests. Um, that should just fix it, right? I would like to add just a decorator for GPU, you know? has no ad. Oh. Hmm. That's why I broke the tests. Because this needs to be a static method, and then partial can't use self. Nah, I don't like that. There is no tensor.add anymore. Actually, we can't do that because it doesn't know about add until there's. Hmm. Let's just try that. Tiny grab function. We say. Test zero dot get atter tiny grad function that torch not compiled with CUDA enabled, eh? Because uh, we would just want to do it here, and I don't know what kind of crap code I was writing. That key error, tiny grad function. Wow, I'm writing really bad code. 
x is not defined. OK, that's a different problem. Oh, we got to convert it back. Um, before we run that, well, this is nice because it's going to test the forward pass too. Let's change these all to that. I can just do x.conf to d, right? Okay, and that's just because we have to change it back. Weird. Look, look at that. It's like it's like it didn't uh, get the size right or something. Actually, yeah, you know, we really didn't test this well. We just wrote uh, something where they're all the same. And clearly, that's happening. Let me know when you want to go. What? Let me know when you want to go. I was going to make you some buttered noodles. Buttered noodles sound great. And I'm going to pack up when I'm ready to go to LA? Yeah. Well, I'm going to need to pack up, you know? I don't know why I feel like you need everything. Do you? Okay. That didn't work. Hmm. Oh, I can't do red dot shape here. God, fine. That's what it was before, right? So we were dispatching it. Why we have tests. Cool. Does it work now? Uh, well, that's because the grads aren't right either. Oh. Hmm. really make sense though because the grad shouldn't be
grad is a tensor? The grad usually is a tensor, right? Oh, because it's comparing it to none. Why is that grad not working? Backward marketing called? Oh, it's probably because we don't have mean. Um, no, wait, that should work. Oh, but it's the wrong tensor. that there. I don't even know what was happening, but now at least the right backwards should be getting called. Yeah, okay. Let's just do that. So you can always call CPU, it never hurts. CL buffer ah has no attribute D type. That is different. Why is mean? How is mean getting called? There shouldn't be a mean. because it's creating that, ah. Yeah, so it's looking backward. Oh. Stupid gradient really isn't a tensor. Should have thought this library through a little bit more. not going to be too much I have to change. Self.ctx.backwards. Self.ctx. Uh, Self.grad.data. That's right. If self dot GPU self dot grad equals self dot grad dot CUDA. Okay. Um, self dot CTX dot pack. Ah, even apply isn't, no, but that should. Yeah, ops GPU add, okay. So now when I call 
Well, we're calling mean. But somehow we're calling it on... How does mean work? Mean shouldn't work. Why is it calling this one? Tensor pi OpenCL buffer with grad none and GPU is true. So when I call mean, oh, because mean is a non first class op. Oh, we have to be careful here. Oh, we have to be so careful here. Okay, well, something we should definitely do is also set dtype. That's one place where we create GPU tensors. And what's the other place we create GPU tensors? in dot CUDA. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Key error sum. Okay, so if we want that to work, we have to implement the sum op. This is good. This is good that we're doing this because the other ops we can leave to people, but I want to leave the, uh, the basic stuff I want to write. Save for backwards input. Why is this called sum? This should be called add. Kernel void sum. Take in an input. We return it in res g. And we just say res g sub 0 plus equals ag dot did. Yeah, I know this is terrible because we're, we see what we're doing, but. Okay. Ret equals buffer. Oh, oh, buffer is a special thing. Uh, new, we'll say buffer new, and the buffer that we're going to return just is uh, one. And for this one, we want to say input dot size divided by four x ret. Truly terrible code. Return ret. That's sum forward. How we get a register? Buffer new requiring one positional argument. Oh, we have S in the CTX as well. Add was not found as a program or kernel name because that's sum. X is not defined because that's input. Okay, now mull doesn't work. I mean, mull should basically just be a copy of add. 
except that we have to do something on the backwards pass. Get rid of that stupid to do. Because we didn't say in mean here um, if self dot GPU uh, div dot CUDA. create creation method we'll say GPU equals false and then here we'll say if GPU self oh I can't say self equals self dot CUDA can I Never mind, this is a later problem. We don't need this for now. Sir, self.data.size equals one. Oh, because size means something different. Um, Cert self.data.shape equals one comma. Warning, not float 32. This is getting a lot to keep track of without food. Where am I creating something that's not float 32? The one is not four thirty two. This one backwards. Oh, mp dot ones like self dot data d type equals self dot data dot d type. Oh, you yeah, I just can't do that. Yeah, I, I can't do ones like. I can definitely do np dot ones self data shape. That will work. Okay, sum has no attribute backwards. That's a more understandable error. Um, we have to write backwards for sum. Here's a hack.
Yeah, that's because the grad, we gotta make that change real. Um, we set the grads here. We want to say um, grads equals uh, tensor x for x in grads. Tensor is not defined. Oh. I don't even know what that means. Okay, better. That just doesn't work. That's uh, because my Mulgrad isn't right. Okay, something else. Yeah, some of these changes we should probably make on the CPU branch first. People still here? You guys watching? Wow, a lot of people got unbanned. This chat being nice. How many people we got? Can't see. Only you use the giant monitor in front of your face. Mm, yeah. How many people we got? 571. All right, that's not bad. And the GPU branch is kind of a mess. We're writing hacks all over the place. That's a big hack right there. Disgusting. Wait.
not right. X times grad output equals GY. Tortellinis. Oh no, I haven't tried it yet. First argument must be callable. Oh, because that's just wrong. Now. That stupid print. There it is. Sweet. Do all the test ops work? Just normal ad. I gotta fix that funk tool thing, yeah. Yeah. Forward takes. Funkahannis, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Look at how our forward pass works on our GPU. It's so beautiful. Let's see if we can make the backwards pass work too. <laughs> forward takes three positional arguments, but four are given. Okay, I think that's just because, yeah, 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 no, I know what I did. Here. I want to do that. Perfect. I don't know why it's printing stuff. No luck. Here, give all. Oh. Wait, does get at her really? How do I check if there's an actual attribute? No, it can't be because these ones are above this one, right? The Python might be that stupid, but probably not. Yeah, okay. Given square root don't work because those are non first class ops. 
Um, oh, yo. Check out that walrus, boys. Concatenate what? Why is that being called a function? Oh, what's that? Get at our tiny grad function? Mm, probably, probably. We forgot one in the test somewhere. Sometimes it's already lambda. Who's Little Pump and who's hating? A oh, Little Pump. Mm. Off white, all right. Off white, all right. Stars and lambdas. I kind of feel like I can't. Off white, all right. Off white, all right. Oh, because, yeah, duh. What am I doing? Don't do that. That's going to be an infinite loop. Look at that recursion right there. Python's so powerful. So close. So close. Yeah, we need to fix that.
Yeah, we need to, that thing where I changed it to strings is disgusting. And should die. Mm. Maybe we can fix it. Okay. Let's see if we can make the backward pass work. On add. Relative difference three. Where did it get three from? An off by three error? Who's heard of an off by three error? Oh, self.data.size. Oh. Damn it, that is a different meaning, you see? Um. So this all needs to be refactored. But yeah, there we go. Add mean and some have working forward backward. Yeah. Mm. No luck on mall. Mall works for restricted cases, but not for all cases. Should work. Y times grad output, Y times Oh. Duh. not going to work if you, you do that because boom. All right. I think that's today's tiny grad stream. Uh, if you guys want to submit pull requests for the other GPU ops into the GPU branch, uh, I would love to see that. I'd love to see a rudimentary convolution, uh, a dot, fixing up some of my hacks. You guys know I wrote those um, those CL kernels terribly. I should not be dispatching a separate kernel for each ad. Um, approve my pull request so I can update my CV. <coughs> All right. Today was a pretty good stream. Got some good stuff done on TinyGrad. TinyGrad GPU. We got the efficient net. Oh, wow, that seems like so long ago that we got the efficient networking. We got the efficient networking, and now we're moving toward making TinyGrad a GPU 
supported library um, with very minor changes. The code is going to be completely beautiful. It's going to be the most beautiful tensor library to ever exist. And it's going to support CPU, it's going to support GPU, and it's going to train an efficient net. That's our dream, to be able to train an efficient net uh, at somewhat decent speeds on my MacBook Pro, where I got a big GPU. I got a big, beefy GPU. Oh, we can write performance tests. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Tiny Grad is a great adventure. Uh, you know, I wake up in the morning, I go to the coffee shop, and I work for like an hour on Tiny Grad every day, and it's just really nice. Uh, you know, it's an educational project. Uh, Got to educate yourself. Will I stream tomorrow? No. Um, oh, my favorite Pokemon's got to be it's Pikachu, man. You know, that's just the first one that comes to mind. Like, what, you want me to try to sound obscure and esoteric and say, like, Slowbro or something? Well, it's actually a Chikorita. I, I actually didn't like the first 150. Someone ever said that to me? Um, what counts decent speed? I don't know. Like, we can train an efficient net. We'll train it. We'll get ImageNet training working, and we'll do it all in under a 1,000 lines. Ah. Uh, my favorite Pokemon is missing now. Oh, uh, you just got here. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, Alex, did the light sculpture arrive? They're asking. Oh my god, it's the best fucking thing ever. It's not on. Did I ever find a proper study of masks? No, but I found a hilarious picture where it was a picture of the masks and it's like, the box literally debunks masks where it says on the box you that masks come back at night so don't prevent voice. any shit. Uh, the box, wow, didn't have to look hard to debunk that. The 24 year old debunker, no, you can't move them. They get, no, they get headaches, Alex. They've never been moved in their life. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I want to show them the light. I know you like the light, but all right, you want to show them the light? It's not as good uh, during, during the all day. Right. Alex, Alex really wants to show you guys the light. They like your dress. Thanks, guys. Debunker! This is my this is Hill House home, my friend's company. It's called a nap dress. It's officially for napping. Oh, oh you mean the dress. Yeah, wait. Oh, this is really hard. Okay. Okay, it's a giant right, dome. Can you guess how much it costs? It's a giant dome on the wall. Wait, but it also it changes colors. You can't see right now. It's yeah, light yeah, blue. Yeah, it's got a Philips Hue light in it. You gotta see it from the side view. I think it's uh, really they, big. They want they want full screen. It's f oh yeah. It's a giant. It's a giant. Uh, it's a, it's a light. It's a, it's gray over the bed. Yeah. Off -light, George wouldn't let me put it. Do you see how big it is? Right. It's huge. Oh, it's red right now. What wouldn't I let you do, Alex? I let you do anything you it's want. An it is. It's an indoor sun. The I, tricks I live let, knows. I let you you have to look... Um, I let you do anything you want. And George is concerned about putting it over the bed. Yeah, if I get killed by a light boy, I'm going to live forever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm not great at hanging things. You have to look up um, the, the weather projects at the Tate. The, you didn't show them the weather projects. What's the weather project? Can you go on the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this appropriate for stream? Yes. What is it? I showed it to you, the picture. The Olafur Eliasson, the weather project, the giant room with the sun. Just show them. Show, show the Twitchies art, George. The weather project. Not the weather underground, which is probably what you're thinking of. Where they bombed people. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just thinking of the website where... It looks where, like that. And it turns out the weather underground didn't bomb people. They bombed things. Um, Wait, where is... What did they do? It a, a rap. Oh, you tell them you're going to record your rap? They thought we were yeah. in a basement. No, yeah. we're on the top floor. It was not called the Civil War because people this were civil. <laughs> it's the other type of weather project it is. They love your apartment. It's a perfect circle. Thanks. You guys, I, I moved all my San Francisco stuff down here, so there's a lot of stuff in the apartment right now. Alex, I'm trying to Alex hang is in San Diego now. I want a car. What is going on? What? 
I mean, I am super strong. I don't want my car to drive on its own. All right. We have to pack for like. Yeah, more yeah, yeah. We got, we got to. No, no, we got to go. We got to go. No, it's not called the Civil War because people are civil. It's like a sequel. You get it? We didn't get pizza. No, we didn't get pizza. We ate tortellini. That's what we eat. That's the only Alex thing I Alex cooked love. tortellini for me, and it was very nice of her. Where are we going? We're going to a hotel. We're going to Beverly Hills. We're going to a party in the hills. Not those hills. I wish your Twitchies like fashion. We have so much fashion. They don't even like my artistic Instagram pictures. We post artistic shit on Instagram, you don't like it. But if you post a picture of my face next to a cell phone, you guys will all like it. You know? Hacker. Are you sure this is the same audience? No, it is. I am George's caretaker. Face art. Happy Halloween. What, yo, how do they yo, do that? How do we, they do that text? Yo, yo, boys, you know what I just realized? What? We're doing it. We're famous Twitch streamer. Art's not boring. We're, it's a famous Twitch channel. Yeah. Why did you just decide that right now? Just because, you know, like, I, I'm going to go live in the LA Hills and, like, live with, like, you know, oh, we get a like, Pokemon house? and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to live with streamers. You know what I mean? We're going to buy, like, nice shit with your subscription dollars. Oh, damn. Yo, we're going to get sponsorship deals. No, we're not getting any sponsorship deals. My content's not appropriate for sponsorship. Besides, I hate sponsors because it's just ads. Yeah. But I don't mind when you give me money. No, Twitch is never going to make Georgia Partner. Well, they would. No, they did. It's just because I, I offered and he, didn't, he refused me asking the higher ups for help. No, I could get a Twitch Partner if I wanted to do it well. Oh, guys, should I just give up? Should I quit common and just be a streamer? Don't ask him that. Why? No more open pilot, but streams. No, open pilot will continue. Oh, they love it. Oh, yeah, they love it. Subscribe and show me you care. What's, what's Genshin Impact? By the way, yeah, if you know React, you want to come work at Kama on front end stuff? Please. All we get is ML people. The ML team's full. We have great ML people, full. Come work on the apps. Yeah, that's what's not full at all. That's empty. Um, you know React, good, apply. Thank you. And be good, you know, a lot of people who apply aren't very good. I'm not gonna hire you if you aren't very good. You wouldn't fit in here. No, we don't need hardware people. We get hardware people. We need front end people. Front end. Front end. Front end. Front end, we need the app to be nice. We need the navigation. This apartment is a warehouse. Oh, it's because I make it's fun of front end building. apps for CRUD, but I promise you it's not CRUD. You're interfacing with a self driving car. You're not interfacing with, like, well, the 1099 tax form database has to be displayed. We're not looking for hardware people. No. I don't mean to make fun of front end, I mean to make fun of stupid apps. Oh, the front end department struggling to find people, yeah. Yeah, we need an app designer. You can do navigation, cool, come apply. Uh, give your names of CRUD apps, you know. <laughs> uh, we hire designers only if designers can code. Guy emailed me on LinkedIn. He's like, I can do it, but I don't want to. I'm like, then why would I hire you? I oh, I spoke with an office manager candidate, and I gave him a puzzle question. And they were like, is this whole interview just going to be puzzle questions? And I'm like, if you don't like puzzle questions, comm's not good for you. Like puzzle questions. Be ready to think. You know C and GTK3, those sound like front end things. Oh, that's what? I know. Why would coder want to be designer? It's an example of a puzzle question. What's seven plus seven in base eight? Who knows what seven plus seven in base eight is, boys? Is it 23? I don't know. Oh, come on, you know that stuff. What's 69? What's 7 plus 7 in base 8? 16. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm going to ask that question. <coughs> the speed challenge is still very relevant, yes. What do I think about Mr. Carpathy? I think he is a genius who is leading a great project, and we'd love to have him come work at Com AI if you know, Tesla decides that he'd have to label stuff for the rest of his life. But I think that Tesla's going to come around and see the light and join the end-to-end -end train. You only know vanilla JavaScript. I don't know. Can you program well? You know, I'm going to like ask you shit like, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you another question I ask. I'm like, I go to Google.com, what happens? I'm like, wow, you know, you can go a long ways with that question. Well, it connects to the server. Right, what's a server? Where does it know about that, huh? What do you do? You just scream into the void, connect to the server. Uh, oh, T. Kinter. Uh, we, we, use, we use QT. We use QT, C++. Uh, but no, you just really have to want to build beautiful, elegant user experiences. That's what we want you for front end. Yo, squirrels are fascinating. The secret life of squirrels, you wouldn't believe how much they do all day. You ever just sit and watch a squirrel? As we did last weekend. You get ads. Oh yeah, that's a good answer. Um, Download the spa. I thank you all for watching today's stream. If you want to submit pull requests to TinyGrad, please do so. We'd love for the GPU ops. If you guys want to write a dot and a conf, we'd appreciate you. Um, I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff. Need tiny grad. Tiny grad's gonna be the number one deep learning library for training efficient nets. That's a lie. <laughs> bye. Alex said bye 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 bye. This is like our home videos, you know? Is it? Yeah. Bye bye.